Hey guys, this is Eric with Mindful Trader. This video is going to show you my Thinkorswim setup. Um, it is designed for people using my Trade Alert service and trying to, I, I, my goal is to make it as easy as possible to make the trades after I send an alert about what I'm trading. Um, you do not have to use Thinkorswim if you use my Trade Alert service, but if you do, this might help you. And um, if nothing else, this will give you a good base starting point to manage your trades. Even if you aren't following my alerts or if you um, are following my alerts but want to do other trades, this is a nice good base setup uh, and might be helpful for some people. I'm going to first focus on the ordering section. So first of all, right up here, this is this whole window is the ordering ladder, I would call it. And there's a ticker up here. So this is for Walmart. WMT is the ticker for the Walmart stock. And I might send a trade alert that says I bought WMT at this price, set a, uh, I set this profit exit and I set this stop loss. And this ordering window is fantastic. You just point where you want to place your order, you click and it's in. It's really easy. It goes, it's the same sort of a thing for the exits when you set the exits and you can move it really easily, which is great. So if I wanted to go there, it's really easy to change the order. I mean, it's the easiest that I've ever experienced. Um, so that's one great thing. That's the ordering window. Next, I'm going to show that um, you see there's like a little red number one here next to this ticker. And now these, there's these other windows with a red number one here, 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 and here. And what that means is that these windows are all linked together. And you can change tickers. You can click something else and all the windows change at the same time. That's something that uh, helps as well. Next thing I want to show is... Um, well, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll go over to the left here. I won't, won't do the charts just yet. I'll show up here. This is where it shows the stocks that I own, the stocks and futures contracts that I own. And uh, actually, that's not a part of the skin itself, a part of the, the grid that you'll be uploading. But I'm still just pointing it out in case you're new to Thinkorswim and you, uh, if it's something helpful that you want to know. Um, so these are the stocks I own right now. And uh, let's see here, it's, and again, you can kind of click on them and it will change the screen and it's really easy. The other thing that I like is, you know, after you set your, your order, you know, again, so I'll send an alert, it'll tell you what to buy, but then it also tells you where your profit exit and stop loss should be. And you set it up front. That's what I do, at least. Um, and you can do the same thing I do. And once I've set it, I'm done. I don't manage it anymore. You can if you want. That's not what I do though. And I go in and um, set these up front and you can see that there's a depiction here visually on the chart. This right here is a price chart that shows where the price is. And uh, it shows you how close the price is to hitting the exit. So you can see this exit right here corresponds with this, this line right here. So it's kind of neat how these exit indicators are showing up in different windows as well. And you can see for this particular one, the price is really close to the exit. Actually, this one was nice because I, I sent the trade alert at the, when the price was down about here. And in the same day, it came all the way back up here. So it's already almost a victory, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't happen like that. Actually, most of the time, I would say most of my trades take that, that I alert are like three day long trades on average because uh, I, I alert swing trades. Um, and let's see. So this is a daily chart here. You don't need this if you have uh, if you're doing my trade alert service. I mean, it's just really for your own benefit. Uh, benefit. Let's see for your own interest, I guess. If you like looking at it, um, there's no need to look at it to do the trade alerts. The only thing you need for the trade alerts is actually this ordering window, and to be able to manage, you know, to keep an eye on this to make sure things uh, were set up right and nothing went wrong or anything like that. Um, this is just if you're interested in keeping an, an eye on it with a diff different um, different visual representation of it. Um, this is a one minute chart down here. Um, so, so, you know, with this being a daily chart, this is a f each bar is a full day's worth of price activity. And you can see that the um, price went all the way down to here and up to here on this bar. Uh, down here, this is a one minute chart and it's it's really small right now. I'm going to, this might be helpful for you to know, you can grab this and pull it and it opens it up and zooms it in. 
And this shows you basically all the activity where each bar is just one minute of time. And that can be helpful. Um, not Again, if you're getting trade alerts, I don't know if there's really any benefit to looking at this. If you're trying to get a feel for trading and doing some of your own trades, it can be nice. I feel like for a new trader, or, or not, a, not, not a new trader, for any trader who just needs a base setup, having a daily chart and a one minute chart, those are good baseline things to have. Um, yeah, so all the activity you see in this one minute chart over the course of one day, let me go all the way back, so from the opening bell to the end, all that activity is encapsulated in one of these bars. Okay guys, I think that covers most of the features of this setup. It's basic, but it's effective and it can get the job done. It gives you everything you need to follow my trade alerts. If you have any questions or any feedback, I would definitely like to hear from you. Um, I, I'm excited to hear anything you have to say. You can email me at eric at mindfultrader.com. Thanks guys.